In order to fix this secure static MAC address issue, we need to get the host address, the actual host one MAC address of the interface that's sending the traffic. And one way we could do that is with show port security interface fast zero slash one in this case, because here's the MAC address that actually came in the last source address. You could actually just go over to host one and do a show interface fast zero slash zero. That's actually the interface and you can see the line protocol is down because of course the error the switch host switch port that's connected to is in error disabled state so we would expect to see this and we're just going to copy this what i did is just do a right click let me do it again do a right click and a mark drag over it right click and that's going to paste it so it's a copy and paste i think there are one or two other ways of doing that but it's just the way that i do it so if that works for you, do it. Because especially when it comes to copying MAC addresses, I really like to do that because the more letters and numbers and periods you're typing in, the easier it is just to get one wrong and then you're troubleshooting something that you really shouldn't have to troubleshoot. Let's go back over to six and fix this baby up. We're on zero slash one. And I don't want to take port security off. There's no real reason to do that. But what I do want to do is take this command off that had the incorrect static address. So I just arrowed up, went through my history, and Control A will move your cursor to the beginning of the line. I'm not huge on a lot of keyboard shortcuts. If you use them, fantastic. But I like this one because then all I have to do is type the word no in front of it, and that got rid of it for me. Now I want to put the correct address on here, and I'm going to backspace over that, and then do a right click and a paste, which is going to be off your screen, but it's just right click and then paste and we're good there and we're good there now i just need to do a shut and a no shut to reset the port and once i see it coming back up which is going to come up quickly then i will go over to one and send some pings which one or two might fail at first we'll see let's go over to six and see if we see any messages of any kind Took a few seconds last time. Dun, dun, dun. Sometimes no messages are good messages. And so far it's looking pretty good. It looks like the ping didn't set off the port security violation, which of course it shouldn't since it is correct now. But let's go around and have a look at our verification commands anyway. And here's what we like to see, and we see that it is still up physically, it is still up logically and still connected, so we don't see any kind of error disabled there me message there. What else could we run? Let's run show port security. And you'll notice that we've got a current address of one, so our address is definitely in there, the latest one we put in, but we have no security violations, so that is really good. And now let's run show port security interface fast zero slash one. And this is what we like to see because we've got a port security status of enabled. The port status is secure and up. This is what we want. And everything else is pretty much the same as we saw before, except happily the security violation count is at zero. And there's the last source MAC address to come in, the one we expected. And it is a member of VLAN one. So we are looking good right there. And that pretty much covers static addressing, secure static addressing. And we've seen what happens when we have a violation and what's going to happen when we don't have a violation, which is what we just saw or didn't see, if you want to put it that way. But what about dynamically learned addresses? How do those work? We're going to see that in action on the very next video. In the meantime, I am going to initialize switch one, take the port security commands off anyway, and we'll join there.